So for tea, I have a takeaway, but it fits in with my daily calorie allowance, so I'll show you what I got. So I got a chicken kebab, salad with lettuce, tomato and onion. I was gonna have some rice with it at home, but I feel like the salad is absolutely massive, so I'm just gonna have the chicken with the salad. So yeah, here we go. So it's still so good that I can have like a takeaway with the family when I'm still doing calorie counting. Uh, this video was from like a year ago. I just wanted to point this out because as of right now, as the making of this video, Becky is trying to actually perform a calorie deficit because a lot of people, when she tried to tell people that she was going to do a gastric sleeve, a lot of people <laughs> basically told her, what the hell are you talking about? You're going to do a gastric sleeve when you've never in your entire life ever tried to do a calorie deficit? This makes no sense at all. You're literally going to end game before even starting the game at all. And I guess she read those comments and she decided that they were right because obviously they are right. You are literally going to do something that's life changing. Literally, if you if you get that sleeve, you will no longer be able to drink those pops, those uh, those sodies that you like or those chippy chips that Becky loves to eat or any of the takeaways at all. I mean, she might be able to get a few every week or so, but she'll no longer be able to eat to the same quantity and the same amount of food. Uh, the same types of foods that she would be able to eat now. So a lot of people were just telling her like, dude, uh, this is terrible. This is a really bad idea. This doesn't make any sense at all. And I just wanted to point out that Becky in the past had tried to, at least she tried to start a calorie deficit. She never actually fulfills it because here's the thing. When it comes to somebody like Becky, I think she more or less thinks like, I'm going to do this. And she maybe does it for a week at most. And then she thinks, fuck it. And then she eats whatever she wants because it's easier to eat whatever you want than it is to focus on deficiting or like understanding how many calories you are. By the way, Becky is literally saying she has no idea how many calories she eats in a day. And that's obvious because she doesn't want to actually count calories because she thinks that it's like negative or like it's going to negatively affect her mental health or whatever bullshit she says, which is really, really crazy because she's actually trying to lose weight in the dark right now. And it could work, but the likelihood of it working without understanding how many calories you're actually eating right now is not very high, Given, especially given the fact that uh, Becky has already tried to do this before. So I just wanted to point it out. Um, this was a year ago. Uh, do you notice any differences on her face? I don't personally. That's just a testament to how great her genetics are. No, I'm fucking with you. She does look good though here. And it's really tasty as well. I've just got to be mindful of what everything's cooked in. But it's still takeaway night, so yeah. And I'm By the way, the takeaway nights are literally every single night. I just really hope that with these deficits that she's trying to right now, if we get a skinny Becky, dude, that'd be awesome. But she still gets takeaway quite a bit, even on her most recent videos. I think I saw her get takeaway three times this week, which is... More than the average person, and in my opinion, I mean, maybe you look at me as a guy that gets a lot of takeaway. If I do ever go to McDonald's or anything like that to get takeaway, I usually only ever get the coffees, the $1 McDonald's coffees, or if I'm going to Dunkin' Donuts, I get a coffee from there, which is like $3, which is really, really insane, but it's a little bit of better quality, and I'm a little bit more bougie, so I will go ahead and get a Dunkin' Donuts coffee and have to argue with the person behind the counter because I don't want your deluxe or your bougie coffees, dude. No, I don't want the mocha coffee. No, I don't want whatever whatever stuff you're putting in the coffee. I just want regular coffee, okay? Like just the bean juice, the water that resides within the beans itself. I want that to be filtered through. I just want that. And it's not even like you make it here yourself. I literally see that you're just pouring it out off a tap. So like, don't act like you're doing anything special, bro. I know you guys literally just get an import every single day and you just plug it up and then you tap it. I know, bro. Just give me the the, the bean water that was probably made over there in like Ghana or something like that, dude. I'll take that, all right, dude? I don't really care. But uh, anyway, I don't know what we're talking about. I absolutely love the onions from this takeaway. Happy. Uh, the fact that she says she likes the onions from the takeaway. Onions don't really change depending on the place. I mean, they might be a slightly fresher depending on where you get them and when you get them. But like overall, it shouldn't really matter. Friday. Guys, I've come to Pargate again. And this is recent. This is a recent video, by the way. I've just got a banana chip ice cream. I've been waiting for it. Had to drive. Waiting for ice cream is bizarre to me. Uh, you would never catch me waiting outside of an ice cream shop. Better yet, you would never catch me at an actual ice cream shop ever because the price of ice cream is actually astronomical. I could afford it, but I would never want to because if I'm going, if I'm going in and I go, how much is your large? And you say $9.58. And then I go, $9.58. How much is your small? And they go $7.50. And you go, $2 difference. What are you what are you guys putting in the ice cream exactly? Like who is making this ice cream? Is it like um, am I getting 
uh, am I buying somebody with the ice cream? Am I getting a person, like a slave? Because this ice cream is way too expensive. And then they go, yeah, but it's it's the quality. You know, we really put a lot of time and effort into this. And I just think, like, aren't you guys, like, just, you know, it's it's just regular, you know what I'm talking about, the the, the soft served. It's nothing special, bro. It's You guys are acting like you're, you're doing something special back there. Like, you got an Amish woman milking the fucking churning the butter or something like that. Or you have, like, small Asian children back there creating the cones themselves from their delicate fingers. No, I know you're not doing that, bro. I know you literally just have everything just come in every single day. Or maybe not even every single day. I, I'm pretty sure those ice cream cones can last months. I know they do because when I go to the supermarket and I see them on the shelves, they've been there for the last two years. So don't act like you're doing anything special. I'm sick of these people, bro. Like $9 for a, an ice cream bow? And they go, it's slightly cheaper for, because I'm not, I don't want to eat out of a, a cup. Give me the cone. I'm a, I'm a real man, dude. I need the jimmies and I need to, I need a cone. And the cones are almost always expensive, expensive-er. And I'm just sitting there looking at the ice cream, man. I'm just like, dude, you what are you doing right now? Like, why do you, there's a reason why I'm the only one in here, bro. Like, there's no, like, did you, did you not realize that you need to lower your price when I'm the only person that came in here in the last 45 minutes? And the reason why you guys stood up so quick, cause you thought I was a gullible sucker enough to come in here and buy that. I'm not your traditional white dude. Okay. I have money management skills. All right, dude. I'm not going to just randomly go into a store and just buy stuff because I'm peer pressured into doing it. No, bro. $9 and 57 for this, for this, for this ice cream is not worth it for me, but maybe Becky would wait for it because she's literally saying she waited for ice cream. Which is insane, by the way. I don't know who the fuck is waiting for ice cream. It's like waiting for fast food. Why are you doing that? Just get your fast food and be out. If it's a line, leave. Drive all the way to the bottom. Get it. I'm just telling you the story because you'll see why I'm gutted. Get the ice cream. Come all the way back up. Get a parking space. What? Get a parking? So you really drove out here and you had to wait for a parking spot just to get the ice cream, dude? It sounds like way too much effort for some ice cream. How good is this ice cream, dude? How much you pay for this fucking ice cream, dude? And then look. <laughs> a crap. As, it, as you should. As you should. Feel bad. Feel bad, Becky. This is what you fucking deserve. Doing all that effort just to get this ice cream. Only for that shit to fall on. You might as well just start sucking it off the uh, off the bench right now. Why does it even matter, dude? I've literally seen you eat worse food before. You have no quality control when it comes to the foods you eat. Just put your lips directly to the bench and just start slurping it up. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, dude. Just stop acting like you have morals at all. You paid probably $10 for that cone. You might as well put your mouth to the, to the bench. It's dropped. <laughs> so that that was a travesty for for Becky. I mean, that, that was probably the worst part of her entire day. Uh, for me or you, it probably would have too because of the price of that cone was probably ten bucks. Yeah, I'm coming to the pub now, and I've actually just got the a pub because I'm back gutted. But something was telling me, Becky, you didn't need that ice cream today. Um, but yeah, my hands still smell of ice cream. Yo, yo, Becky, why are you smelling your hands like that, bro? I need to go and wash them in the toilet, and in me in a minute. I'm sorry. I, I get it. The toilet can also mean, like, you're going to wash them in the bathroom. I've just never heard somebody say, I'm going to wash them in the toilet before. Usually when somebody says they're going to use the bathroom, you never hear somebody say, I'm going to go, you know, use the toilet to wash my hands. I just don't understand that. Like, okay, whatever, bro. Maybe I just, maybe I'm reading into it. No, I'm not reading into it. That was a gross way of saying that, Becky. I know you're not washing your hands. At least I hope you're not washing your hands in the toilet. But, uh, anyway. Um... But yeah, my hands still smell of ice cream. I need to go and wash them in the toilet and in, me, in a minute when I freshen like up. Like this whole series of events in that last like 10 seconds was just insane. Just like the, and then going, oh man, my hands just be stenched. Like they're a real deal. Just smelling the worst. I just really need to dip my hands in that sweet water right in the toilet. I just need to dunk them in there and wash my hands up. Like it's just, it's just a crazy series of events. But I just can't believe the effort it took to get this ice cream. Hand smell, gotta rub it across the hair. If you know Pargate, you know how hard it is to get a parking space. So when I got a parking space, got the ice cream, drove down, turned around, come back up to the boat house, and uh, yeah. Why are you out of breath? What, what are you doing right now where you're so out of breath, Becky? Drop me ice cream. Is it really this big of a deal where you have to talk about it this much, dude? Is it is it this like a, this much of a travesty, dude? Did I need it? Probably not. Would it have been nice? Yes. You didn't need it, and plus you're on a calorie deficit right now. Why are you even going out to get ice cream? I don't have a problem with you eating out every once in a while. You're obviously not going to be able to go full force on this shit, which is fine, by the way. I just don't know, like, why are you so upset about the ice cream dropping on the floor like that? I mean, the bench. You could have sucked that shit up. I'm sure it would have been cleaner than whatever bowls or plates you want you use. But yeah. Home of water. And she got the deluxe water too, bro. Listen, then. 
you're never gonna see me getting tap you never because like where i grew up dude people used to make funny of you if you came in with the tap water and uh if i'm going to your house and you go yo david you you thirsty and i'm go yeah bro i'm thirsty and they go you want some water i'm like yeah bro let me get some water and you came out with a glass yo where the poland at where the poland spring you don't got the poland spring bro i don't want that water bro where'd you get that shit you got that out the sink you got that shit out the what you 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 gonna me let me tap that you gonna let me tap the water bro that's never gonna be something i do bro you only ever gonna catch me drinking that poland bro that sweet poland spring i know I get it, dude. It's I'm a, I'm a fucking victim of capitalism. I understand, dude. But this is the water I grew up with. And I hate when people say there's no difference between the flavors of water. Yes, there is. I don't know if you guys have ever tasted different water when it comes to like, I've tasted water across the entire spectrum. Okay, I've tasted store brand. I've tasted tap. I've tasted Poland. I've tasted all the Nestle brands. I've tasted the Dasani. I've tasted even deluxe waters that cost like $20, right? I didn't buy it, but somebody offered it to me. And of course, I was going to suck it down. I even tasted the black water. And I always will say the same thing. Poland Spring is the best water. There's not a single other water on the planet that I would prefer to drink than the Poland Spring. Tap water, by the way, is just diabolical. If somebody gives you the tap water, even if you got a filter on it, suck me off. I'm not drinking that shit. It's funny because she's pouring this, like, deluxe water in here, right? And then I bet $100 that that ice came from the tap. Yes, very nice. Very nice sunset. Damn. What is this? She's making a cake, it looks like. Really lumpy, by the way. She should have stirred that up a little bit more, dude. That shit's gonna be clumpy as fuck when she makes that. And she didn't even apply that tinfoil correctly, dude. Look at the edges of this tinfoil, man. It's, it's, it's right open, dude. So when she cooks, there's gonna be some residue on the side, I bet. Yep, that shit look gross it's it's not the you know but then again it's brownies like who the fuck is really looking at brownies and going like this is just i can't eat this because it has too many holes in it bro you you it's too clumpy it's brownies nobody cares dude and like you guys see what i'm saying right the hole right here a little bit of it got away so like i said dude uh she didn't properly install the tin foil so you're gonna have a little bit of mid drift on that Oh, you gotta put the chocolates on the chocolate, obviously, because we uh, we need more calories. We just need more calories. So anytime we can increase the calorie count, we will indeed do that. One of my, one of the reasons why I think Becky is so beautiful is that she she will sit there and say, I. I'm going to get this gastric sleeve while she does stuff like this. Like oh, every week she'll come out with a new cooking video where she's making some deluxe version of a cookie or a candy bar or a cake or something with chocolate in it. And she does it frequently enough where these videos are like, you'll catch one at least once a week. And that's beautiful. I think it's awesome. I just wish that she could do it. And anytime I've ever seen her eat fruits, always coated in chocolate, always coated in it, Nutella or whatever else you want to call it, Nutella. And I just think, when I saw that video of her talking about how she was going to get that sleeve, I thought, yeah, you're fucking lying, dude. This shit is going to be a total fucking whiff for you, bro. Because you eat too busted for that sleeve to actually do anything at all. Like, you, 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 the amount of food that you eat in a day and the sheer density of every food that you eat is, like, at that point, it's going to completely blow out that, that sleeve. I mean, you're going to literally have that sleeve be busted within, like, two weeks. So, thank God she didn't do the sleeve, but... From the videos that I've seen, I think she did sign up for it because the way that she uses her wording, it's all about how sometimes it's less about what people say and it's more so about what they don't say. And what she didn't say was, uh, what was she implied that she was going to get the surgery? Her, her words were, I'm not going to get it yet or I'm going to wait. That just tells me that she did sign something and she's still on the record to get the surgery done. And now she's just going to take a little bit longer to see if she can uh, actually lose the weight, which by the way, I'm pretty sure... I don't know what it's like in the UK, but here in America and other places, especially if you're about to get like weight loss surgery, it's almost very imperative for you to ensure to the doctor that you will be able to follow through with the diet afterwards. So what they'll tend to do is like a month or two before that, 
they'll have to see if you can actually lose weight organically. So that way, when you get to sleeve, you can still proceed to lose weight afterwards. Because when you get that surgery, it's not going to be a simple one and done. You're going to lose weight. It's going to be amazing. No, it's not like that. It's going to be a long, it's going to be a long jarring process. Not even to mention, it's like a good six to eight months after the surgery, where it's like a buffer period where like foods and things like your stomach is going to readjust. It's going to be a completely different lifestyle for that first six to, seven, six to eight months. And they have to make sure that you're eligible enough to be able to uh to, to to be able to get that surgery right it's like dating a black man dude like you can't just jump up to the to the big leagues you know what i'm talking about like if you're gonna sit there and you want to take some bbc well you gotta start off small you gotta go low you know maybe date an indonesian guy real quick then go up then go up and eventually end game date a black dude not all black dudes who do have big meats but we know the stereotypes Black guys have big meats. I've met a few black guys that don't have a lot of big meat. And it's, uh, oh man, it's tough, dude. Let me tell you, a lot of these black guys feel really insecure about the fact that their meats are not as big as a lot of people think they are. And it's got to be tough. It's got to be tough to be a black guy in today's world. And when a girl go, yo, send me a dick pic, let me see that BBC. And you're average. Uh, it's got to be tough, dude. It's got to be real tough. I even knew a black dude that was hustling other dudes for dick pics to try to send to other women to ensure that his meat, he had no intention of ever meeting out with these women. Um, he would send dick pics that weren't his. And you know what? If I'm being honest, dude, I've actually been hit up a few times. I knew a dude and he, I used to talk to him back in the day and he used to go, bro, my shit is literally not big. I don't know what I'm going to do. This girl just asked me for a dick pic. And he was like, listen, David, could you send me your dick pic? And then I could send it to her and tell her that it's mine. And I was like, bro, no. That's gay. That's really gay. I'm not going to do that, bro. What are you talking about? It's like completely against my morals. Like I'm only, I'm only ever sending dick pics to women, my own dick pics to women. And to top it off, you're black. It's not even going to work, bro. Do you not think that my penis is, 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 is melanatedly challenged? Of course, it's not going to work, bro. And I don't think he thought that far, but in all fairness, dude, I mean, we were younger at the time. I was like 25. He was like 24. So it was different at the time. Anyway. Hi everyone, so tonight's tea, we are being creative. We are gonna build a Jurassic Park tea. With Only Becky. Only Becky, bro, can do a Jurassic Park tea, bro. What is it, so you got the Dino Nuggets? <laughs> the Dino Nuggets, huh? All right, yeah, I mean, we're doing it big. We're doing it real big, Becky. I, I agree with this. Damn, Becky. Damn. <sighs> my turkey dinosaurs, my mash, and my broccoli. Okay. Um, I've got the sound. Oh, I've got gravy as well, but that is for my next video. I wish... I wonder if she's going to put the bum, 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 ba -da -dum, ba -dum, bum, 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 Dude, Ikea desk in the back. Uh, which is um, going to be like the Jurassic Park theme tune. Right, so we need to build this as like a volcano. Why a volcano? And I'm sick of people thinking that volcanoes were like super like big during the Jurassic period. They weren't, okay? There might have been like five or six of them. And then dinosaurs didn't even die from the, the fucking me the, the meteor in and of itself. It was the aftermath of the meteor because it turns out you need to breathe and then of course you don't breathe and then all the big dinosaurs died out and all the carnivores that ate off the big creatures didn't have anything to eat anymore and then they were really hungry and they died out and then human beings were there and they were going yo what's up it's me but we weren't human beings at the time we were like little uh i guess we were like little muskrat looking things uh obviously i wouldn't have been a muskrat i would have been who i am right now if i was alive back then uh i would have probably been the physical embodiment of a penis at the time though probably I don't care that I'm 30 and I'm doing this. It's oh, yeah, it's fine, dude. It's fine, dude. Embrace your inner child. I don't care, dude. I, I don't even know why she would even bring that up. Did somebody bring it up to her that, you know, like, this is weird, Becky. Why are you doing this? You're 30 years old. This kind of crazy. No, I don't think, I don't care, dude. Whatever, bro. I went to the aquarium as a, you know, a to fucking late 20s-year-old man. I don't care, bro. What do you want from me, bro? It's fun. I like looking at fucking penguins and fish. What do you want to do, huh? What are you going to do? I like doing that shit. And there were children there. And there were people looking at me like I was weird. Bro, I, you could be any age and you can embrace the fish. Any age, you can look upon turtles. Any age, you can and you can just feel the fish, whatever you want to do, bro. It, it shouldn't be it shouldn't be gate guarded by, you know, being a child or something like that. Or like you have to have kids to go to the aquarium or whatever. Dude, I went to the zoo uh, like a, two months ago or a month ago. And that was, like, one of the greatest times of my life. I mean, granted, it was kind of ass because, like, most of the animals didn't do shit. And they all smelled like literal dust. And uh, I didn't get to see... I don't think I got to see zebras. 
it was real tough. It was real sad. I didn't get to see zebras. I saw a giraffe sucking on a pole. That was cool. But he wasn't sucking on, like, the whole pole. He was getting it from the side or whatever. You know what's really crazy, too? Is that the side of the pole was so licked that the paint was actually starting to chip off. And I even asked the guy. I said, hey, man, what's up with these giraffes sucking the pole? And he was like, listen, they just like doing that. And I thought, you're not helping at all. They Like, what is the purpose of you even being here at the giraffe exhibit if your response to the giraffe sucking poles is they just like sucking poles? Really? That's really what they like to do? Is he gay? That's what I want to know. It's like a volcano. I don't care that I'm 30 and I'm doing this. It's fun. It's it a lot is, of mashed potatoes. You know, I love dinosaurs. End of. Sure. So what kind of dinosaurs you like, though? Let me know. Let me know what kind of dinosaurs you like, bro. You like those giganotosauruses, huh? What, what do you, tell me about the dinosaurs. Well, I like it. Right, we need like a little... I could probably beat her in the in, in the knowledge of dinosaurs. I probably know more about dinosaurs than her. I watched a lot of documentaries on dinosaurs, bro. I love dinosaurs. And I played Ark. And I played Ark back when I didn't have a life or a job. And I was I was no life in that game. This is like a bit creative, guys. Scraping the pan. Creative. The seasoning is the Teflon. We always got to remember that. It's not salt pepper. It's the Teflon. If, so the broccoli is going to act like the... Um, trees. Trees. Yes. Oh, I'm excited. Right. I think that's a big enough hole. That's not... Where, where... How is this a volcano? There. Bro, scraping the fuck out that pan, dude. In this right. Then we're going to put dinosaurs on. Um, my dinosaurs look a bit too big for this. Yeah, no shit. It's fine. Well, it's so cool. Guy, guy, guy. You know what? Like, you know, we all have different standards on what we think is fun. Becky just, you know, likes to have fun. That dinosaur right there is eating some ass, bro. You guys see that shit? He eating this dinosaur's ass, bro. Whoa, a parasaur? Is that a parasaur? This motherfucking triceratops is eating the ass of that parasaur, bro. I would have thought she would have spread it out a little bit more. Like the grass texture almost. By the way, there is no... Where the fuck is the trees at, Becky? You literally said there was going to be trees. There's no trees. So. Look, guys. Yeah. <laughs> and then let's put the trees on. They're bigger than so the trees. So you'll have to watch my next video. Actually. Oh, yeah. I'll probably upload this one first. The, them trees um, are in the floor, bro. <laughs> it's so cute. Bloody love it. Can you get a hobby? Can we just like try to get a hobby or something? Can you like collect Legos or stamps or something like that? Like normal people? Why is this your hobby? It's not even good either. You didn't put any effort into this at all. Like you didn't think about this. You didn't have a plan. I'm sick of people thinking that they're doing stuff that's cool. This is basic as fuck, bro. I can do way better than this, dude. It's it's like anytime somebody goes, oh my God, like my son, he finally, he, he found out how to walk. He's saying full sentences. And I'm just thinking like, dude, your son sucks, bro. Like I've been saying full sentences. Can I get fucking, can I get some, can I get some awards? Cause your son is, how old is your son? Like four? I don't care, bro. Look, look at me. I'm a fucking grown man. I can say full sentences. I need to be rewarded. I need to be, people need to tell me how great I am for walking and saying words and stuff like that i mean i know he's four but still you know what i'm saying like sometimes people say things and i'm just like, like what about me you know like you know what i'm talking about like the amount of times that i was out i remember i was on a date with this really pretty girl and people would stop her and go oh my god i have to tell you something oh my god you're so pretty and i'm just sitting there like yo what about <laughs> you're like yeah i mean yeah she's all right she's all right but like what about what about me like i you know i'm next to her right i get it like you think i'm just like the the side character for her you think i'm just like a you know what i'm saying like bro what are you fucking talking about like you should, you should be looking at me as like a, wow, you managed to get this really pretty girl. What you don't know is she's got foot fungus, you know? Like, you fucking think she looks real fucking good. She's got foot fungus right now, athlete's foot all over her fucking feet. And you're over here telling me that she looked pretty. You don't know my feet are fully good taken care of. I have zero foot fungus at all. She's got foot fungus and she's toxic. That's all I'm saying. Sometimes I think people, you know, anyway. Okay. And we can just have a tree. I feel like we should have some gravy. Don't Where the gravy at? Is gonna appreciate no, we dry the, as fuck. Um, broccoli, but you know. They're more like bushes. <laughs> now, you can call me childish. You it looks bad. Uh, it doesn't look good at all. You can call me whatever, but this is bloody cool. And I'm Any gonna put butter, the gravy dude? In, so you'll see Where the butter at? Soon, but hope you enjoyed it.
Hi everyone. So this afternoon I have been to Panda Mummy. This is in Chester. Damn, them drinks is kind of expensive. Chester, and it's basically like an all-you-can-eat buffet. Yo. So the last two nights I have calorie counted my meals. But like I've said, I have not introduced anything strict. And obviously you are still going to be seeing videos like this. This was for my nephew's 18th birthday, which is on Saturday. But I started off... I don't have a problem with it, dude. If, if this is what Becky's going to eat and she's been strict on her diet, dude. And wait, wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a second. This is the same day she had that ice cream. This is the same day she had that fucking ice cream. What the fuck? Hold up, bro. Becky! Becky! You out here going to ice cream shops and going to all-you-can-eat buffets in the same day? God damn! What the fuck, bro? You can't stop yourself even remotely, even like the slightest, dude? The same day you going to this shit, bro? God damn, Becky, calm down. This is in Chester, and it's basically like an all-you-can-eat buffet. So the last two nights, I have calorie counted my meals. But like I've said, I have not introduced... She should just bring extra changes of shirts. It shouldn't be that easy for me to see that and be like, damn, that's the same shit. Anything strict. And obviously, you are still going to be seeing videos like this. So you got ice cream in this. If this is all you're going to eat, bro, that's fine. I don't care, dude. 18th birthday. Celebrating the 18th Saturday, birthday is what it is. But I started off with... Just a random mixture of things, to be honest. I don't honest. even know why we celebrate an 18th birthday. Like, I don't really care about that. We should be celebrating the 20th birthday or the 21st birthday. If you made it to 20 with no pregnancy, you beat teenage pregnancy. Good job. Now you can drive. And you can you can go about voting and stuff. And you might be able to do other stuff. Wait, I don't know if it's like... It might be different in the UK. Honest. Had Chinese chicken curry. Some spicy hot wings. A few chips on there. Some egg fried rice. Some little chicken poppets, which carbs. honestly are my favorite from here. So once I tucked into this, I had a little bit of a breather. I'm trying not to fill. I've never heard somebody say I had a breather after eating some food. That's kind of crazy, bro. How you? I, well, I maybe she's not being literal on the whole. I had a breather. Maybe she was just being like figuratively, like I guess. But it's still a crazy ass thing to say. Like I had to take a breath after all that food. Damn. Like that should really put me on my back, bro. I had to really just calm down for a second after all that. Fill up on pop too much. But I do only drink like Pepsi what Max or Diet Coke, Coke Zero. Then my second plate consists. <sighs> second plate, huh? I mean, I guess it's a buffet. I just think Becky should be staying away from these places, dude. I just don't understand how Becky is out here. I just think that she comes up with random reasons to eat food, right? Am I wrong? So she's going to this place because she's celebrating an 18th birthday, right? That's cool. But what about that ice cream earlier that was in your mouth? What were you celebrating there? Your mouth, you were just celebrating how uh, how good that shit was tasting in your throat when it fell on the floor? Let me know how Becky just randomly just goes, oh, I'm go Guys, we're going to be celebrating something today. I don't know what it is. I'm just going to come up with a random excuse so I can go to Panda Mummy and eat a buffet and an ice cream and other stuff like that. I just hope she's not eating food behind the scenes because a lot of these people do eat food behind the scenes. And... For a long time, I think Becky really didn't do that because, like, why the fuck would she? She has no morals. She doesn't give a fuck. And now I kind of think that she might be doing that, given the fact that she's showing off some things now and she's trying to lose weight. I don't know, bro. We'll see in the next month or two. Instead of some barbecue spare ribs, some pork, which I forgot the name of. I don't want pork. I want to say it in case I get it wrong. Some why more rice, like that? some cucumber, a few chips, and I had a poppa don with this as well. But honestly, I was so full. She eats it they so fast. Wide... Two plates and you're full. Who would have known, Becky? I can't believe that. That's such an anomaly. Two plates, huh? You're full? Range of selections. The only thing they didn't have a lot of today was the desserts. Why do you need a dessert, though? You're good. You didn't need to get the dessert. I guess it's a buffet. It like, you're setting yourself up for failure, dude. Why are you going to a buffet? You know you're going to have to body slam like a lot of food to make it worth it. Like, a lot of people do that shit. Like, if you go to a buffet or, like, a restaurant in general that has a free refill, I know dudes that will literally get, like, nine or ten refills just to equal out the cost they would have spent for the food. So, I ended up getting some. Well, I got, like, a little cake. Let me see it. I usually do have some of the banana custard, but I didn't Let me see the cake. it today. I got a little moon. Ooh, Becky. God damn, Becky. It's too much. 
It's way too much, Becky. And I got these little Frere <gasps> Rocher balls, which were absolutely amazing. <gasps> I was like, oh my gosh, they taste like it, everyone. But that was yeah, no shit. They, they, that's literally, uh, they probably are that same candy. Basically my dinner and tea today, but I really enjoyed it. Let yeah, me know I what you've so. had. I hope so. It's a buffet. Love you all. Did somebody say just be? I'm a curry in a hurry, exercise on the low. And I want to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not nah, surprised, dude. Delivery. Beautiful, Becky. You're a beautiful person. I'm so happy that you exist. A little sushi while I watch a movie. But buy a salad while I sing a ballad. Need some ice cream, make it a swirl. Gotta treat this California girl. Ooh. Damn, that pizza looks sloppy as fuck. Dude, that pizza's sloppy as hell, bro. This slice right here looked like an old man's nutsack, bro. Am I wrong, bro? That should literally look like some fermented flakes. Damn, they really had no rhyme or reason. This pe this pizza right here has only got like three pe pepperonis. This one has like 10. Bro, what happened here, bro? Can we just equally distribute the pepperoni? I'm sick of just having slices that don't have anything on it. So that whole pizza just for you? God damn. Damn, Becky, BBC hot dogs and pizza on the side? Oh, you know she got the slices with the pepperoni. You know that. Yo, whoa, who eat pizza like that? That's just big as fuck. Becky's so happy when she get those sweet slices in her mouth. <laughs> anyway, guys, we're going to end the video here. Um, uh, before anybody says anything, I really hope that Becky does lose the weight. I hope that she has the skill, the durability, the consistency to continue with that weight loss journey that she's been going on. She has been active for like the last week or so. So usually this is the peak where you would see people dip down and go back to their basic behavior, which for Becky is deplorable activities, indulging in, you know, witchcraft of the mouth and eating crazy, disgusting, deplorable acts in her throat. So that's probably something that's going to be happening. I hope it doesn't, though. I hope Becky continues. I hope somebody's in her corner telling her, you can do it. Becky, you are great. You have the skill. You have the consistency. I know you could. I wish somebody's in her corner saying that. Maybe her mom. Maybe her dad. Maybe somebody in her corner. I don't know. Maybe even Corey. But I don't think Corey would do that, given the fact that Corey himself cannot stop himself from indulging in Tanner and fast food. So I don't know. Regardless... Uh, appreciate everybody here today. Thank you for watching the video in its entirety. You are a beautiful person. I appreciate everybody to leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video. All those things I'd appreciate tremendously. If you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in giraffe. Giraffes are beautiful. They're amazing creatures. They're kind of weird. They look a little bit weird. Sometimes I think like the way animals developed is kind of really fucking weird, right? Like what is what is up with giraffes? I mean, obviously I wouldn't want to fuck with a giraffe because they're kind of like they they're they, a lot of people think they're gentle giants. They're not. I saw a giraffe eat four snakes one time. They're not gentle giants, bro. They will kill you. So stay away from giraffes. Um, I seen a giraffe actually drop kick a hyena one time, and the hyena literally stopped walking. He had no back legs anymore. His back legs stopped working. So that's really tragic for that hyena. But then again, like, what are you doing trying to attack a giraffe? Like, what is wrong with you, bro? That's it's crazy, bro. That's like a guy trying to wrestle a car. You're going to lose. It's not going to work. It's over for you. So um, don't fuck with don't fuck with giraffes. They will body wash your shit. But anyway, I want to remind you today how much of a beautiful specimen you are. Your eyebrows, delicate. Your elbows, lickable. Your kneecaps, oh, that's all I'm going to say about that. They taste, look, and are amazing. And I need those all in my mouth today. Today. I need them in my mouth today. But anyway, guys, we're going to end the video here. If you want to check out my social medias, they'll be linked down below. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.